For the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is 2x plus 3cm. The length of two other sides are xcm and x plus ycm respectively. Given that the perimeter of the triangle is 30cm, find the value of x and y. So we know that we have a right angle triangle. So we have a right angle triangle. Hypotenuse is the longer side which is this one. 2x plus 3 and then two of other sides are x and x plus y. Given that the perimeter of the triangle is 30cm, so perimeter that means we have to add on all the sides here, which means x plus x plus y plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 30. Find the value of x and y. When we want to find two uh, variable here, two unknowns, x and y, we have to have two equations. So we need to have two equations. Two equations must be formed so that you can find this one. So you have this equation which is this one, which is the first equation and second is what equation that you can relate. You have a hypotenuse and you know that for a hypotenuse, so for example, if you have a hypotenuse A, B, C, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. This is what can be done at this one. So we know that x square plus x plus y square is equal to 2x plus 3 square. This is the second equation. Now we can solve to get x and y. Okay, from 1, you have x plus x plus y plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 30. x plus x plus 2x, you get 4x. And this one, you get y. Okay, and then you have plus 3 is equal to 30. You see that, okay, this one is 3 square. It will be easier for you to get y in term of x or x in term of y from equation y. You see here, it will be easier to get y. So when you want to get y, everything else you send to the right. So here, y is equal to 30. 3 come to the other side becomes negative 3. And 4x becomes negative 4x. y is equal to 30 y is equal to 27 minus 4x. This is equation 3. When you get equation 3, you will substitute back inside 2. You substitute the value of y. Three in 2, 2. So here we have x square plus x plus y square is equal to 2x plus 3 square. You can substitute your y here, this one here x square plus x plus y is equal to 27 minus 4x so it's equal to 2x plus 3 square so here x square plus this one will be x x minus 4x x square x minus 4x you get negative 3x so this one is plus this one is negative 3x plus 27 or 27 minus 3x. Both still get the same answer. 2x plus 3 square. So you know you can expand x square. 2, 27 square is equal to 27 square is equal to 7 to 9. Okay, so this one we use a plus b square which is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square you square the first one and then 2 times b times a and then you square the back one so in this case 27 square just now we get 7 to 9 right 7 to 9 2 times negative 3 times 27 so 2 times negative 3 times 27 you get negative 162, negative 162, don't forget your x. And 3x squared, 3 squared is 9 and x squared is x squared. Lah. Okay, is equal to 2x squared, 2 squared, 4x squared, 2 times 3, 6, 6 times 2, 12, 12x. And then 3 squared, we get 9. So we bring everything at one side. Okay, I bring everything to the left because you see here this one, 9. So that means this one is 4. We will have a positive value of x square when you bring it to the left. Okay. x plus 9, you get 10. 
this never mind just write, write it back x square minus 1 6 2 x plus 7 2 9 is equal to 4 x square plus 12 x plus 9 okay and you bring to the other side then x square minus 4 x square and here you have 1 negative 1 6 2 x you have 12 2 minus 12 x okay this one is done this one is done and then you have plus 7 to 9 minus 9 which is equal to 0 okay 6 x square negative 1 6 2 minus 12 negative 1 6 2 minus 12 oh. negative 1 6 2 minus 12 negative 1 7 4 negative 1 7 4 x 7 to 9 minus 9, you get 7 to 0. So we check if we can make this equation smaller. 174, can it divide with 6? 174, divide with 6. So here we get 29. So we can divide everything with 6. So divide everything with 6. This one is square minus 29x. So 7 to 0 divided by 6. Here we get 1 to 0. Plus 1 to 0 is equal to zero now you check if you can factorize this using your calculator you press menu and then alpha a for my calculator or you can use eqn function inside your calculator if you're using uh, 570 the normal one okay this one is polynomial degree the highest degree is two this one is one negative 29 x and this one is one to zero which is equal to Which is equal to 24 and 5. So S is equal to S is equal to 24, S is equal to 5, which means and you factorize it. 24 means x minus 24 and 5 x minus 5. So you get the value of x. Now you can get the value of y. When x is equal to 24, y is equal to 27 minus 4, x over or 4, 24, which is equal to 27 minus 4 times 24. So here we get negative 69. Negative 69. When x is equal to 5, y is equal to 27 minus 4 times 5, which is equal to 27 minus 20 which is equal to 7. So we are talking about triangle. So see here we have this one x, x plus y and here is 2x plus 3. So we know that the length of triangle cannot be negative. Therefore, this is not acceptable. Find the value of x and y. Therefore, only this pair is acceptable. Thus, the value of x and y is x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 7.